What's up guys, I'm BTC. Hero pools are changing. We just got some information from the Overwatch devs over on the official forums. Real fast, I got a new video on my second channel. After you're done watching this, you can head over there and check that out. All right, so the post on the forums is from Scott Mercer. He says, we've been continuing to read, listen, and watch feedback on hero pools from members all across the Overwatch community. And we're going to make additional changes to the feature to address many of these concerns. Let's jump right into what we're doing. Hero pools will now use Overwatch League data. Starting this weekend, hero pools eligibility will be determined using hero usage rates from the Overwatch League games. While initially our data showed that there are many similarities in hero usage between online high-level competitive play and Overwatch League matches, online hero usage over the last few weeks has seen a lot of changes due to the release of patch 147's balance updates, Experimental Card and Echo. There are some significant differences between online hero picks versus the most played hero compositions in the Overwatch League. Yes, I'm looking at you, May and Reaper. Jumping in real quick here, what he's talking about is that May and Reaper's pick rates have dropped like a rock on the competitive ladder across all of the ranks, but those characters are still being used a pretty decent amount in the Overwatch League. So having the hero bans being based on the competitive ladder is kind of messing stuff up for the league. That's what he's talking about. Anyways, continuing on, he says, determining hero pools with online data did achieve our goal to increase hero variance in matches, and the point of hero pools is not to just ban the heroes that some players might dislike or consider overpowered. However, May and Reaper not seeing enough online play to even be considered for rotation was an issue that we wanted to address. Like I was saying, the pick rate for those two characters drop like a rock. After Overwatch League finishes their season this year, we'll switch back to using data from the high-level competitive matches until the next season of the Overwatch League begins. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh no, what's going on? They're going to favor the league? Hold on, there's some more changes. He says, refining the algorithm. As part of moving back to the Overwatch League data, we're also looking to make some minor changes in the algorithm to lessen the chance of what might be best described as hero rotation ping pong, where a hero is rotated out every other week. While the current algorithm makes heroes with higher usage rate percentages also see a higher chance of being rotated, that does not exacerbate the chances of heroes repeatedly being removed. Also, highly played heroes the community really likes seeing played have the same chances of being rotated out as highly played heroes the community doesn't like. The goal is to create variance in the available heroes week to week, and that means there will be a wide range of reactions from the community on each week's hero pool from the comps we see in Overwatch this week should be super strong to interesting to ARG. <laughs> That's what he said. This week's pool is the worst. It all depends on which heroes you like to play and watch. And now we get to the part that is going to affect the vast majority of players in Overwatch. Hero pools now only for Master and Grandmaster players. Another big change we're making is to only have hero pools affect online competitive play matches at an average rating of Master or Grandmaster skill level. This is greater than 3500 SR. Competitive play at lower tiers already see a tremendous amount of hero composition diversity in their matches, and we don't think they need a system like Hero Pools to encourage even more. Unfortunately, this is a change that will require a client patch, and we're a bit too far along in the development process for the upcoming 1.48 to add new features like this one. This change will take a bit more time to implement. While we all wait for this feature to go live, we decided to temporarily disable Hero Pools from being used in all competitive play games. We'll switch them off next Monday morning, May 4th, when the hero pool normally rotates. For the vast majority of our competitive players who are ranked diamond and below, this brings their upcoming future without hero pools to them way more quickly. As always, we appreciate all the feedback across the entire Overwatch community for this subject. We really believe in the hero pools feature, and while we have seen a lot of positive results so far, we also know there's room for more iteration and improvement. Thanks, everyone. And there you have it. Hero pools will be gone for all players diamond and below starting next Monday. And they're going to be gone for the foreseeable future. Now, this does mean that the Master and GM players are not going to have hero pools for a short amount of time until they can fix that stuff. It might take them a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, before they actually get that change into the client and put on the game. Eventually, both Master and GM will still have the 
the hero pool stuff that's kind of along the lines of the Overwatch League. But everyone else, it's done. So if you don't like it, it's gone. It is gone. And I think that this is kind of a good thing for the lower bracket because it never really made a whole lot of sense for lower bracket players to have hero bans based on what the Overwatch League was doing or what the GMs were doing because the characters that are really strong in the lower bracket tend to not be all that effective in the upper bracket. I mean, there are going to be characters that are super strong in GM that are just garbage in, you know, bronze and silver and gold, and it doesn't make any sense to ban them out because they're not going to be used anyways. But then you have characters that are really strong in the lower bracket that just never get banned out because they're not being used in the league, right? So this kind of makes a lot more sense. What they could have done is they had hero pools for the upper bracket and the lower bracket, but it looks like they're not doing that. They're just saying, we're going to get rid of it all together. And judging from the comment section in a lot of my recent videos, I think this is going to make a lot of you happy. So what do you guys think about this change? And now that you're done watching this video, if you got some time, go and head over to my second channel. I got a brand new video up. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe over there as well. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. You can get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media with the links down in the description below. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters, and remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.